Oh, sure try again. Well done. And couple them up. Clip them together. That's it. Look at that lovely corridor joint there. That's where they have their dinner. Enjoy putting together. So this is you still filming me? Mm-hmm. This is tricky. I've got to get that loop. Simon did this effortlessly last year. Over that hook. Oh missed. Not easy. Let's try. Yes, that's it. <laughs> One done. <laughs> Only two more joins to do. Number two. You have to do two, both of them. They don't want to fast me. Got the knack of it now. You've done the last one just by bare hand. Yeah. Mummy's done the last one. <laughs> so ah. they're all coupled together. Look at that. Things that every live steam locomotive needs. I can remember that it has to have oil. Yeah. And some water as well. Yeah, and water goes in there. And what goes in there? Hmm. I can't remember what goes in there. Oh, that. Mess. So the first thing we've got to do is to fill it up with mess. We turn the tap off. We turn, take the cap off. And you're going to squirt some mess in there now. And we do that with that. So stick that in there. Not too much. Suck it up. Not too much. Suck, suck, suck. It's hard. Keep going. It stop. Oh, not too far. Right, put it in there. Sit and squirt. Takes three of those to fill this one up. And now the methylated spirits go down there along the front and up into the wicks. Next, we've got to put water in. And we can put this on. No, you don't, not just yet, because when we've got it full of steam and it's all steamed up. Will then top up the mess before it goes off on its run. Yeah. yeah. Great. Right, so, would you like to pour some water in there? Yeah. My little grandson, he likes to pour it in like this. Whoops. That's it. Now we've got to pump it up on there. Mm -hmm. That pumps it up. Keep pumping. Keep pumping. <laughs> Let's have a look in there, yeah. all the controls inside the cab. Can you see the water going up and down inside that little glass tube? There's a little bubble yeah. going up and down. Keep going, you're going, you're going just great. How full does it have to be? Well, I'm going to, if I can see the water near the top of that tube, but we're okay now, you can stop now. Right, we've got enough water in the... Right, now we've got water in, mess in. What else have we got to put in? Oil. Oil, yes. Good. So under it. Other hand. That's it. Under it now. That's it. Good okay. boy, Simon. Keep going. Well done. <laughs> Having a nice time? holiday so far? Yes, thank you. Really nice. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Oh, no. Look at that slime in there. Now, see, that's a mixture of water and oil, and we've got to get rid of the water. So we suck the water out, put this syringe down, and we pull. And you see the water in the bottom there? Yeah. Look at all that water! Oh, ho, ho. Now all that water is means that the displacement the oiler is really working, uh, and uh, so we've now taken all the water out, and now we've got to top it up with oil. Here you are then. Squirt that in there. That's it. Good. Let's see if there's any more in that one. Yep, squirt some more in there. Thank you. That's full now, isn't it? Yeah. So we've now got the oil full. Okay. We've got to screw up the cap now. So now we screw it down. Right hand. That's it, round you go. Keep going. Round you go. <laughs> Good. Excellent. Right, so we've done the water, 
the mess, the uh, oil, and we better check the radio's working now, haven't we? Yeah. Just twiddle this one. That's oh, the regulator to make it go faster and slower. Yeah, and what about the blower? And this one is the blower that keeps the fire going when the engine's not moving. So we have the throttle open just a tweak. Good. And this one makes it go forwards and backwards. Can you see the little lever going? You look inside there, look. Yes. You see that going? Yes. So that makes it go forwards and backwards. So I'm just putting that one in reverse. We've got a little bit of throttle open. Yes, now we're ready to really start it up. Right, I'm going to go and get my blower now. Simon, why is the throttle slightly open? Because it will go it will go really slow backwards when it when it's ready to run. That's right, good boy. He knows that from watching Peter's videos. So you dip it into the mess, and out it comes. Okay, lower on. So that's going to draw the fire. You like this one? Here's the fire. The fire it goes in a space just there. That's it. Can you hear the noise? Yeah. It's making all funny sort of spit and cough noises, isn't it? Yeah. We take it off and we put it back on again so that the flames fluff around and they ignite all three. There's three wicks in there. And hopefully the three have just ignited. Now if you put the back of your hand there, feel what that feels like. What do you feel? A little bit warm and a little bit gentle blow, isn't it? I call it dog's breath. <laughs> and uh, you know that the flames are afire, you see. This one will gone out. This has ignited everything. Now, the next thing is something that little boys are not very good at. <laughs> patience. We've got to have patience and wait for it to all steam up. Okay? Yeah, I'm really good at that. So it'll, it'll take probably until it's well past the seven, just past the seven, is probably when we'll be ready to run. We'll be just going to have to practice. Right, okay. Do you want to make it go around? Simon, come into the turntable. Other, up, go, make it all the way around. Yeah, come out here. It'll be easier. That's it, round you go. Good boy. Don't touch the engine now. Good boy. Sit. Okay. Co load in. These are much easier to couple up, you'll be pleased to hear. Uh -huh. Reverse. This is a southern engine, you've got that. Absolutely right. Right. Come here, Simon. Oh yeah, it's spitting out water. Radio controlled, live steam, engage one. Look at that. So there's a switch in on the on the loco itself. That's it, All right? Just blow the horn to test it. Start the engine. Just 
wait till it finishes starting. What a noise! Okay, make it move forward. We've got to go across to pick up the coach. Do it carefully, Simon. Now let's check how the points are set. Oh, it looks good. You walk with it, Simon. You follow it. That's good, careful driving. Well done. Over. Give it a bit more speed. Here it goes. Okay, now back on to your coaches. Fantastic. Take the controller with you, Simon. Don't leave it there. And away she goes. Got a grasshopper on top of it. All three of you on one big swing, look at that. Do you like it, Simon? Yeah. yeah. Nothing. 
You gotta put it in. Push hard, you gotta push quite hard. Don't keep your pipe. That makes it even harder again. Okay, suck some more. Now we gotta set fire to her. Here's your wand. Right, you gotta put it down under there, okay? Wait, wait, wait. Right, that's it. Up, up, up there. See some flames in there. Up between the wheels. That's it. That's it. Oh, I think it's gone out. No. Oh, no, no, sorry, my mistake. <coughs> Oh, oh. When the flame stops, you can take that. Can you remember what we do now? What do you do now, yes. Simon? Um, wait. 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 And girls are much better at patience than boys. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's got steam up. Yours are the blood and custards, aren't they? Simon, do you want to push the blood and custards forward? Make sure his points are right. Are the points set right? Are the carriages forwards? Yep. Good. We open the regulator. Push her forwards just a little. Oh, look at this water clearing her throat. Right now, she's ready to go. So just push that one down just a little. Here he goes. Woohoo! Woohoo! Right, now, is that one switch so it's on main line? That's it, switch it. No, not this that guy. One. Not that one. No, nope, this guy. That one. And the one just further up as well, switch. Uh, that needs to go like Good. that. Yeah, that looks right, I think. <laughs> and away she goes. Look at that. Fantastic. Great work, Esther. Just halfway. I don't even find. And away she goes. What do you reckon, Simon? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Nicely judged. The last carriage just on the platform. Passes are changing now. Okay, so you know what to do. Not too oh that's a probably a bit too. And away she goes. That's it. Nicely caught. Cool. Not quite far enough. It'll probably go slower now. But slowly go slower and slower. And you might have to make it go a little faster. It's not fully closed. Real trains actually have to do this. When they come into the station, they turn their blowers on. Now, do you see the blue one? You're going to have to knock that one down to turn it off, and then that one down to set it going. Off you go. That's it. Set it going. That's it. 
beautifully done, Esther. Well done. Pumping in more water. What you're doing there is pumping water against the boiler pressure. going. You've got to watch your chimney. Because when water spits out of the chimney, it's full. Now, also we've got to look at the pressure. As you put cold water into the boiler, what do you think is going to happen? It's going to go down. Yeah, well done, Ruth. Right, you're going to stop it at the station, Esther. Make sure you catch the regulator as it comes past. You nearly send it into the future. <laughs> uh, it stopped a bit short of the platform. Do you want to push it very slightly down, just a little bit, and give it a nudge? That's it. And then up again. That's it. That's perfect. Well done. Regulator off and I lift it up. Yeah. So it goes forward and it comes to a stop. Are well, you going to do it, Rue? Just a little bit more down on the red. Well done. That's right, but how are you going to stop it over here now? That's it, well done. I think you might need to go back over the uh, bridge, Rue. That's it, well done. You're getting very good at this. Up, that's it. Nicely judged. Very good. Right, now how do you think you make it go backwards? Oh, now that is a good question. This one has what's called an eccentric system, mm. a reversal. Just grab hold the whole thing and pull it backwards. Mm -hmm. Just a bit hand on the carriage. Just pull it backwards, just a half a turn around, that's it. Now when you open the throttle, it goes backwards. Uh -huh. Just a little. That's it, you just give it a little push. putting its own carriages away. Might want to go over the bridge, Rue. So you can stop it in. thing now, Esther, is without carriages on the back, how fast do you think it's going to go when you, when you open the throttle? Right, stop. Oh. <laughs> Well caught. Now change that point ahead, quick. This one. Change it. Go. That's it. Just in time. Right. Go slower. A bit more throttle, a bit more throttle. Very good. Well done, Ray. So now we've got a decommission it. Um, oh, you can take it into there. Mark on Sky Brew. That's it. And then we just give it one or two little pumps just to make sure we can feel the pumps working. And um, I'm going to go and get you some oil. If you like the oil in the front. Oh. We've done the water, we've done the mess. Can't we just check this one? It's yep. going, yeah, that's going. It's going now. No, just a little just bit. Just a little bit. Okay. You can hear it. Do it a bit more. One minute. Do it a bit more. Do it a bit more. Do you hear it? Keep going.
I better bring this one so it goes into the station for you. What a lovely sound, look at that. Other way, that's it. Good boy, very careful driving. So this is a battery powered radio control. No, we're going to go out there and get the green ones, I think, Simon. Go and get the green ones. Come on back here. That way. That's it. Battery operated, radio controlled, gauge one. Driven by Simon. What do you think, girls? Me through the sound effects. Tell me what you've got. What sounds are there? Whistle. Oh, is that safety valve that last one? Yeah. And then what? What happens when you turn it up? Yeah, and you can hear the chuffs going. Watch it. Bit closer to the camera. That's it. You stopping? Lovely. Look at that. Safety valve. And away she goes. Get much better than that. Wonderful. <laughs>